Hi everyone, Kayleen Kerr from eSafe Kids and today I'd like to share with you another fantastic find in Kmart. This book was just $6 and I think when it comes to value for money, this is going to be right up the top of my list for an accessible and affordable book for parents. As I said, you can buy this one in Kmart. It's called All About Feelings. It's written by Felicity Brooks and Frankie Allen. I'm just going to give you a bit of a feel for the book. But assisting our children to recognise and understand the cause and consequences of feelings, understanding um, feelings in themselves and in others, teaching children how to label their feelings, express their feelings appropriately and regulate feelings if they need to are essential skills for children and this book can really support you in teaching this. Okay, so I'm going to just um, run through the contents page because this book for $6 covers so much. So it starts with talking about everyone has feelings. It talks about body messages and clues. It then asks some questions about how the, the child is feeling. Why, why, why? We'll come to that one shortly. How would you feel changing feelings, jumbled up feelings, talking about feelings, taking a moment, feeling worried, making choices, helping friends and family, being kind to yourself. And there's also some notes for grown-ups at the back. So all about feelings. Everyone has feelings. How are you feeling today? Happy? Hungry? Maybe you're feeling sad. Everyone in the world has feelings all the time, but the way that we show them changes as we grow. Tiny babies can't talk or even smile. They can only show how they're feeling by crying or not crying. This means it can be hard to work out what might be wrong. The cat thinks that the baby might want to cuddle. The mum wonders if maybe the baby's hungry. Dad thinks that maybe the baby is tired. Toddlers are good at showing feelings but don't understand why they have them and they don't know that other people and pets have feelings too. Older children are also very good at showing feelings and may learn to tell how other people are feeling by looking at their faces. And then the children can look at the different faces and they can have a guess how that child might be feeling. Um, so there's words at the bottom and they can then match those words to the feelings face. The words are angry, excited, nervous, calm, happy, sad, proud, grumpy and worried. Can you think of a time when you felt any of these feelings? So that's just page one. Body messages and clues. Your body has ways of showing feelings too. Some are messages to tell you that your body needs something. I, I can't stop yawning because Tara is feeling tired. I have a headache and a rash. Isaac is feeling ill. Hannah is feeling hungry. My tummy is rumbling. And so is the cats. Holly is feeling hot. I'm sweating and my face is all red. Theo is feeling thirsty. My mouth is very dry. Connor is feeling cold. I can't stop shivering. Can you tell these children what they might need to do to feel better? Match the speech bubble to each child. And the speech bubbles are eat some food, take off your sweatshirt, take a nap, drink some water, tell a grown-up you might need some medicine or to see a doctor and put on some warm clothes. So I'm just going to go through a few more pages. So how are you feeling? This asks some inquiring questions of the children. Um, I am feeling angry. My colour is red. I am feeling happy. My colour is yellow. I am feeling sad. My colour is blue. And this one feels, I feel like there's a heavy grey cloud above my head. I feel like I'm all alone in the middle of a cold blue lake. I am feeling calm. My colour is green. Feelings inside our heads usually happen for a reason. These children and their teacher are talking about how they are feeling and saying why they think they feel the way they do. I'm feeling sad today because my granddad is ill. I am feeling calm and happy because I love drawing. I am feeling a bit upset because I have lost my pencil case and so on and so forth. Think about how you are feeling right now. Can you give your feeling a name? Can you say why you feel that way? And then there's some situations about how um, would you or how could you feel? And the kids can choose as many words as they like. So that's fantastic. Changing feelings. Feelings can change throughout the day. So don't always have to get stuck with a feeling you don't like. 
Here's Lara's day. How do you think she feels in each picture? So this is an opportunity for the children to reflect on the picture and try and identify how Lara might be feeling. Think about what you did today. Did your feelings change? And it's really important that children understand that their, change, their feelings can change across a day. Feelings can change in a minute. Um, and that's okay. We all experience a very wide range of feelings at different times. Jumbled up feelings. We don't always feel just one thing at a time. When feelings are mixed up or even opposite, it can be really confusing. But everyone has jumbled up feelings sometimes. When your teacher gives you a special certificate, you might feel a bit embarrassed and also proud. You might feel happy to see pictures of your friend's holiday, but also sad as you didn't get to go and so on and so forth. For $6, this is a really fantastic book. Uh, and then other people can't always tell how you were feeling just by looking. And you can't always tell how someone else is feeling either. That's why talking about feelings is a fantastic thing to do. Talking can help you understand your feelings and give it a name. So this is where we can really assist children to label those feelings and uh, build that confidence and level of comfort in talking about their feelings with trusted adults. Talking about feelings can help you get on with your friends. Sharing feelings can help you find ways to solve problems, so on and so forth. Taking a moment. Now, this is when feelings become overwhelming, encouraging children to think about regulation or de-escalation activities. Feeling angry, upset, frustrated or sad can make you want to shout, scream, cry or even hit out. But there are things you can do instead. Start by closing your eyes and taking a really deep breath. Then let the breath out very slowly, counting to 10 in your head. Then let the feeling out, um, and other ways you could let that feeling out, and banging on a pan, hugging yourself, going to a quiet place, running really fast on the spot, dancing to loud music, or stamping around and singing at the top of your lungs, and there's a range of others as well. So these are assisting children to identify de-escalation and regulation activities. Then it goes on about feeling worried. I won't go into that one. Um, for $6, as I said, fantastic book. Um, making choices. Nobody can help their feelings and there's nothing wrong with showing them. But when you have a feeling that what you don't like, you can choose how you show it and what to do with it. Helping friends and family. This is really building compassion, kindness and empathy. Being kind to yourself. We know it feels bad when people are mean to us, but sometimes we're mean to ourselves and this can make us feel unhappy too. So lots to explore there. And at the very back, there's some notes for grown-ups. I know that this video has been longer, but this book for $6, I just think was an amazing find. Uh, Kmart, all about feelings. If you found this video helpful, please do feel free to share with any friends, family or colleagues that you think might benefit.